Good morning. It's 6 a.m. right now, and I'm up early for not really any reason, and look at it. It is basically completely dark outside, so we're up though. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. It's 6 a.m. I got out of bed this early by choice, okay? Because I leave for college in five days now. And I realized, you know what? There's still so much to see. Actually, I'm staying in the same city, so I don't really know. I was like, there's so much to see here in this area. Like, I have, I feel like I haven't made the most of my summer, so that's what I'm gonna try to do now. So I'm gonna have like the perfect summer morning. And I decided to start early. The other thing about me is that I don't like being up before the sun's up, to be honest, okay? It feels weird to me. It feels like there's no point. It's exactly 6.35 a.m. I don't know exactly what we're going to do. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna try ChatGPT because I've forgotten about ChatGPT as like an actual thing. I used it maybe once or twice, but like I feel like, I don't know, it's a funny thing when I rediscover it, rediscover it, okay? So I'm gonna ask, where should I go eat breakfast for cheap in Atlanta? I'm just gonna ask, what's your favorite? Okay, fine, what's the number one place? You might consider trying Waffle House. That's funny because when I first saw the list, Waffle House, Chick-fil-A, IHOP, um, I've already decided on Chick-fil-A. If you want another example of how serious I am about this morning, I packed like bags of like everything that I might need today. I packed a bag of everything that I would need on my little adventure and my little journey the night before. So when I woke up this morning, I was just like, this is also my laxative water from last night. Um, the poops are not easy. This might be bad, but we're gonna go back to, we're gonna go to a Chick-fil-A in Piedmont because I love Piedmont area and this should be fun. Actually, you know what, no. Wait, yes. We gotta start somewhere, right? We gotta start somewhere. No, that'll be all, just the spicy biscuits, please. I got two of these, by the way. I'm gonna try to figure out what we're gonna do next, okay? Again, using ChatGPT. Okay, so I've actually figured out what we're gonna do next. Okay, so time check, it's 7.20 a.m. in the morning right now. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna go to a place called Old Fourth Ward Park. It's actually a skate park. I, it's actually called Old Fourth Ward Skateboard Park. I'm pretty excited for this, okay? It should be good. But I'm gonna head over there. Everything is so wet, so I can't do much, and the shorts that I'm wearing are not going to dry at all, so... That's the skate park all the way over there, but there's teenagers there, so... Um, five minute check-in. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know why I'm here in this area. I don't know why I'm sitting here. I'm just scrolling on my phone. I have a theory that when you're scrolling on your phone but you're outside, um, it's healthy. And that you don't have any of the negative effects that you have when you're sitting on your bed scrolling on your phone. I don't want to finish this strawberry banana drink, but it was $1.79 and I don't want it to go to waste, so. Here's the skate park I was too scared to show you. 
It's like an actual skate park, which is kind of weird because I didn't think they actually existed. I kind of thought they only existed in movies, but they have like the big dips and like the big things. Like, like I, like I, it's kind of hard to believe that people can actually do stuff like that. So I don't know what to think, but I mean, there's some skateboarders here, but they're just doing like the jump tricks or whatever, where you like jump on like this curb or whatever. I don't really know what they're called. Today was a great day. I, oh, actually, I'm heading out to the car right now, okay? I'm passing by the skate park. I got such a great parking spot, okay? Look, right there. I kind of wish I could see more skaters because then I could confirm whether people can actually, like, do that kind of thing or if it's just, like... I feel like it's just because we're in Little Five Points. I feel like that's the only reason why this skate park exists. Because we're in Little Five Points and it's a very, like, fitting thing for Little Five Points. Okay, anyways. I just want to say that if I could do something like that, I would literally dedicate my whole life to it because that looks actually impossible. There's no way anybody can do that. I just have to say that here. Hot take. We finally made it. I'm going to be so quick. I had such a hard time finding this place because I didn't really realize it was inside Pond City Market and the GPS was not working. I have to poop so bad you wouldn't even believe it. So I need to go now. I need to go. I'm back. Um, I went to the bathroom. I, I, I literally could not pack up my stuff because I have my gym stuff and everything here. I literally did not have time to pack that up at all because I needed to go so bad. Um, <clears throat> I did take laxatives this morning, but in my defense, I did not expect them to hit that fast. They never usually do. They usually take like a day. So anyways, um, I'm going to go to the gym now. It's called the Forum Athletic Club. It's, I'm doing a free trial day today because I want to try out something new, right? The gym that I normally go to, LA Fitness, kind of sucks. It's not that great, okay? They kind of kind of pay a lot for not that much, but it's big, that's all. Anyway, I'm going to test it out. It looks very fancy. It's upscale. The reviews are great, and I can do it for free today with my license. So I'm going to go do that. I'll try to film inside there. We'll see. Who knows? That was a great workout, but now I'm heading home. <laughs> Sorry. That was a that was a pretty great workout. Pretty cool gym. I forgot to ask how much it is. Not that I would ever go there because um, I'm going to college soon. So, but otherwise it was a great experience. I liked it. Okay, so I actually ended up just going to my eye appointment. I have an eye appointment mostly because like I wear these like glasses that are like for reading only, but I can see fine without them. It's just kind of more like preventative because like, I told her that I get headaches sometimes when I read on screens or just in general and like she was like oh I'll give you these glasses like they'll help like they'll help take the work away from your eyes which will help with eye health and everything so I wear them occasionally but the problem is that they're super ugly and they like I got these years ago and I thought they looked good they were rectangular ones so I decided that before I go off to college one of my errands will be to get a new pair of glasses and I thought I might as well just get an eye exam done at the time so that's basically where we're at I haven't got home yet I've been out since 7 like 6 45 ish now it's now like noon, 12.15. That's the time of deployment. So I've been out of the house for quite a bit and I feel great. I'm just ready to go home and sleep though. So far, 2020 vision. I'm still getting glasses though because I like, I'll show you my old pair when I get home. But I'm hoping to get a nicer, different pair this time. finished my eye appointment I did get panda only because I had like a rewards thing or whatever I love rewards because what I'll do is I'll use rewards whenever my parents are paying I'll like scan my rewards thing when we're paying for the whole family I'll get a ton of points and then when I'm out on my own I'll redeem those points for free food I'm starving I'm actually gonna go straight home and I well I am going straight home I'm gonna just go home and eat it's 145 and I've been out of the house since 6.45, so that's amazing to me. I mean, okay, I spend longer than that outside the house, but like on my own with no actual purpose in mind. So that was pretty good of me, but yeah. What? My car just braked. Can this? My car just braked on its own. Um, even though I do not need to do that, it's okay, whatever. 
It's also hot. That's freak. And I haven't turned on the AC for the purposes of audio betterment. So, anyway. I've been told that I have an RBF. And for those who don't know what an RBF is, it stands for resting bitch face. And I'm, I see I did it again. I'm trying to work on it, to be honest. Like, I need to stop because I want to seem friendly and approachable like I am. That's all I wanted to say. I think I, I can catch myself with the resting bitch face. Or not catch myself, like I just see it all the time when I'm editing these videos and it looks like I'm just like, even when I'm talking, it just looks like I'm like having the worst time of my life that I just wanna like, you know, go to sleep, go to bed. But I'm actually enjoying myself because, but I don't know, I need to like, whatever. It's in the eyes, I think. I think I just need to like, smile through my eyes. See, I've got my, I've got the panda just resting right here. And I'm not letting go. Finally, God, I'm tired, I'm sick of this day. It's, I'm done.